Well, good morning <coughs> from the Macam Cabby here. No, sorry, afternoon. Just come back from a Newcastle Airport run. Tuesday, the 19th of March, and it's mild and it's dry. So, just going to talk about now and some more news on um, this time the Stadium of Light getting improvements. Um, the Stadium of Light to under, undergo undergo multi-million pound investment program. Um, and funny enough, all these rumours about KLD selling up and this and that and the other. Is this another owner coming in? Is this another owner that's going to be doing that? Or is it KLD? Welcome to the merry-go-round of saying Sunland AFC. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Sunland AFC, they have uh, committed to a new multi-million pound investment programme to improve fan experience at the Stadium of Light. And a lot of people will say, well, if you're going to do that, Let's improve the team first before you do anything. But they're not talking about the performances, they're talking about the facilities, aren't they? That's what they're on about. But I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it's, it's on the pitch that matters. Um, but other side, it's also, it's no good if your stadium's dropping a bit, is it? It's got to look niche, hasn't it? Um, the excitement developments represent the greatest level of investment in the club stadium for more than 20 years and it will result in a transformational impact on the match day experience. So, following last summer's initial phase of substantial investment with in our hospitality spaces, phase two will commence following the end of the 2023-24 season, which is this season. And of course, we are delighted to announce that several new projects will be completed for the start of the new com campaign. Let's just hope we're in the championship when they do this, eh? This includes the installation of safe standing within the Roker end, 2,000 seats, and the north stand upper is 1,000. Throughout recent years, our supporters have campaigned to see safe standing introduced at the Stadium of Light, and this marks a significant step forward in the continued development of our stadium. Now, if anybody asks, it's not going to increase the capacity. It's not going to decrease it. All safe, safe standing means is there's a rear in front of you. Uh, I think there's a different seat. It's only it's still only one person per space. It's not like normal terracing, where you can maybe get two or three in that area where there's a one seat. So it's just it's still only going to be one person in that space. It just means they've got that opportunity now to stand up with that uh, safety rail in front of them. That's because a lot of people think the um, stadium's going to increase in size with capacity in it, and it doesn't. As much as I would like the terrace and back and places, um, but they reckon that the improvements will help build atmosphere and reinforce the impact of the Roker End as our iconic home stand, whilst also creating a safer environment for our fans. The only thing that's really going to build an atmosphere whether you like it or not, is how good the team is on the pitch. Because what they've been seeing at the minute is, you know, it's enough to make paint dry, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's not going <clears> to <throat> not gonna entertain anyone, that. You, you, you can be, uh, you know, in the San Siro or anywhere like that. It's If, if your if team's performing like that, you're going to hear a pin drop. But anyway, <clears throat> a new PA system and floodlighting system will also be installed this summer unlocking a wealth of opportunities to enhance the in-stadium experience of supporters of all ages. Um, the club will be collaborating with uh, world renowned partners on both projects, bringing together international brand recognition with local expertise to deliver best-in-class solutions. Um, a lot of people complain at the Stadium Alight that they can hardly hear the announcement when this thing's getting said, basically. It just sounds tinny, it sounds awful. So it'll be interesting what people's thoughts thoughts of that. Um, a brand new state-of-the-art playing surface and undersoil heating system will also be in installed this summer, maximizing the environment for our team to bring our playing identity to life. These plans form part of the club's renewed commitment of putting fans at the heart of our actions. It's almost laughable, isn't it, when you think of it? With the new technical kit partner and retail partner also set to be announced in April. I wonder if it's going to be Hummel. I'd love to see the Chevrons back, I tell you. 
Um, this summer stadium development is built on last summer's investment across our hospitality spaces with extensive upgrades made the Queen Sports Bar and the Montgomery Suite and the Business Lounge. But please, name on Newcastle signs anywhere there. Um, in partnership with Sunland City Council, workers also continue to develop the city's 5G network, which will see the stadium of light become the first 5G enabled football stadium in the United Kingdom in 2025. Because at the moment, a lot of fans complaining that the internet speed there is like carrier pigeon. Never mind 4G, you just cannot get, you can't even make a phone call, never mind getting on the internet. So maybe that would be good. Um, it should be. Um, especially for the YouTubers out there or anybody's doing lives. Um, <laughs> Chairman, yes, his name's getting mentioned after all this time. Krill Louis Dreyfus, so I will, will say all criticism, congratulations of the newborn baby, by the way. That is, um, got to say congratulations, it's a good thing um, for his personal life. But Krill Louis Dreyfus says, Today we are delighted to announce that we are continuing a significant period of investment to develop the Stadium of Light, with the next phase set to complete before the start of the new season. These upgrades significantly signify a dramatic shift in our approach to match day experience. And each development will bring lasting benefits to our loyal supporters. The improvements we are making will enhance match day now and in the future. And we can't wait the experience to set them aside with our fans when we return to the Stadium of Light for a new season. Once again, people are going to jump up, aren't they? Including myself, say, yep, I love the Stadium of Light. It's important. We'll get it right on the pitch. You've got to get it right on the pitch. Uh, oh, there's a job coming in for my taxi. What's going on here? I've got to pick up. Oh, there we are. I've got to pick up now. Um, further information about each development will be shared in due course and the season ticket holders impacted by the introduction of safe standing. Included those situated within the area and alongside will receive additional information shortly and as part of the continued upkeep of the stadium the club will also be engaging with the supporters um, collective to undertake a walk around of the facilities to identify any outstanding maintenance points to ensure they are addressed as part of the club's summer's improvement game. The club will also be engaging with supporters to monitor and review the impact of these developments as we consider and implement additional long-term stadium improvements. So there we go. Nothing at all mentioned on money getting spent on the uh, on the side, but the stadium is indeed need of a good makeover. It, it's looking it's looking shoddy. I mean, we're starting to get the pink seats back for the start off. It needs a lick of paint. Um, even just round the ground outside, it's it's looking shoddy. And hearing reports as well that people have not got any water to wash their hands, the dryer system doesn't work, the TV monitors, they do not work, apparently, around the concourse where you, you get your pints and your, your pies. And um, safe standing. Well, like I say, you've heard, you've heard the, the benefits for the stadium. And yet the stadium it, it, it does need it. I'm not saying I'm not saying it doesn't need it. Of course it does. It's massively important. But once again there's nothing nothing mentioned at all, is there, on the money structure to strengthen the team. It's alright having a shiny new stadium. And I know for health and safety and for upkeep in the championship it's gotta be up to scratch. Yeah, we're not saying that. Love the stadium, it's class. But if you've got a shower of shite on that pitch, and we're going back in, we're going back into League One. You know, it's all fair and do's having a nice coat of paint on the stadium of light, and new toilet facilities, and safe standing. But <sighs> look, it, it is nice get the stadium right but the fans really want to hear right 
a big investment in the squad. That's what they want to hear. They want to hear the goal on the squad, strengthening the squad, get this club back to where it wants to be. And that's what we want to hear. I'm not saying the stadium light isn't bad news, of course it is, getting upgraded. Um, I'm all up for it, it's our home at the end of the day. But there's still that silence, isn't there, about what's happening on the pitch and what's going on. Because it's football we'll come to see, let's face it. So there we go. Um, thanks for all your comments on the um, the, the selling that KLD is going to sell up and stuff. There's still a lot of people talking about that and I will reply to everyone. I'll try my best to. And I'm only somewhat like um, 18 so subscribers from hitting 2,000. I'd be chuffed a bit if I can if I can hit the 2,000 subscribers mark in my, my day, honestly. I've worked hard for this channel. Um, having, a, having a wife and, and three kids, four kids, sorry. How can I forget? How can I say three kids when I've got four kids? Or have I got five? Be I don't know. Anyway, plus having a full-time job, um, and I work hard. Um, I'm working harder to get this YouTube channel um, uh, more and more popular as the days go on. But it won't happen, and it doesn't happen without your hard work supporting me. So I, I am grateful for that. Anyway, enough of me rabbiting. Have a great... What day is it? Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah. Have a great Tuesday, folks. And um, there'll be more news or something else going on, no doubt, in our club in the next day or a few hours. See you later.